quality slowly getting better but we have to get through today guys we're not done with this just yet we're going to talk about this area of low pressure we're going to talk about showers and storm on the way and what's it looking like for the weekend and do we have any more air quality issues ahead we'll talk about it all after the break Oh, yeah. And you know, this time yesterday, Alex, we had so many visibility issues and it did affect traffic, but not today. The air quality steadily improving and visibility right now, not so bad, just a little hampered eastern end of Long Island. There are parts of the Hudson Valley already lifted, moderate north and west, and then unhealthy south and east. We're going to talk more about that and about that and time it out for you. Gradual improvement throughout the day and the weekend looks much better and brighter too. We'll see the sunshine for sure. Taking a look at that swirling area of low pressure, that's gonna still continue to meander. It's gonna eventually shift and it's gonna give way to a high pressure system that's gonna set up shop to our south. So we're keeping an eye on that. Temperatures are in the 60s, New York City at 60, 50s, is at Nassau, Suffolk County, a little bit cooler eastern end just near the Twin Forks there, 50, Newburgh 51 and Andover. Current visibility, as I mentioned, just the eastern end of Long Island, seeing a little bit reduced visibility. So is Trenton, but otherwise we're in the clear for now, which is certainly good news. Our day planner looks like this. We start off dry, but there are some showers and storms that'll pop up later on. It'll be scattered in nature. There, there may be some moments of heavy downpours, maybe some strong winds. Again, this is all isolated, but if it does occur, there could be some flash flooding along with that. We'll talk more. Thanks. As we approach the weekend, we are turning a corner amid concerns of hazardous air quality. And as we just heard from me. And you just saw a hint of that. The New York City skyline. I love that. Air quality alerts still in effect for the highlighted shaded areas. It's been playing with us a little bit because it's been going off and on. But all areas, with the exception of Ulster and Dutchess County, the rest, yeah, just heed the warning still. Air quality is getting better throughout the course of the day, but there are still some issues of visibility eastern end of long island otherwise we're okay it is point south if you're like southern long island south jersey central new jersey the further north you go the better it is as far as the air quality right now and throughout the course of the day so it's gonna kind of move from north to south that good air that we want Temperature has dropped a couple of degrees. One is right now. Again, we are closely monitoring meandering low pressure system that's been plaguing our area. We've been stuck in this pattern, but it's going to be on the move this weekend, and that's going to spell better conditions but in the meantime it's still sitting there meandering this high will eventually retreat it'll be a little bit further south it'll allow for that return flow of the weekend so you'll find the winds will shift from north to northwest to southwest eventually and that's what we want 
Here's a look at our day planner temperatures 4 by 9 a.m. 68 by 1 showers and storms firing off later on this afternoon. We're going to time it all out for you. What does this mean for your weekend? Should you cancel those outdoor plans? Well, right now it's looking like a better forecast. We'll explain more coming up. Let's here is the silver lining in all of this. Current air quality much better and much brighter. This is what we anticipate today. We want to see the greens across the Hudson Valley, even into the city. It looks like we're now seeing a little bit more green takeover parts of the Bronx. If you look closely, northern Manhattan, even Staten Island is in green, but highlighted in yellow, that's still consider it moderate. So if you are across Nassau, Suffolk County, that's still moderate air quality, much of New Jersey, but in the orange, as a matter of fact, they're under code orange, is much of New Jersey South, as well as parts of central New Jersey and eastern end of Long Island. We still got some unhealthy air quality there across the tin, Twin Forks. So we're going to closely monitor that and zooming in even closer just to give you a, an idea of what to expect. So yeah, that's why we're saying still take those precautions. Satellite and radar dry right now, but we're tracking storms. When will that fire up? Hey Stacey, and thank you so much for keeping us abreast of all. Alex Lee is busy this morning watching the roads for us, but first, meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden with the clearing skies. The clearing skies, and we're seeing evidence of that. Every time I see that skyline, that live look, I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah. Oof, right? Take a look, though, highlighted in your orange. Take a look, though, highlighted in your orange and yellow. There are still some concerns, especially if you're in South Jersey. I know it's a weekend. A lot of folks want to head south to the shore or, you know, whatnot, but definitely just be mindful. There's still some issues there. It's going to take some time, but throughout the course of the day, it'll gradually get better. We're already seeing evidence of that by that live view outside in the city. But if you are points south of the city, greater chance of that air quality still being an issue. Further north, it's much improved, and it's actually moving counterclockwise, right? Northwest to about southeast and we'll eventually see that gradual clearing and we'll start to feel the difference throughout the day. I would still err on the side of caution and still wear those masks throughout the day. Tomorrow you'll notice much better, much brighter picture and even especially into Sunday when those winds really shift out of the southwest. For now I'd still keep those windows closed. Use the AC. Make sure you check on that filter as Greg Mocker said in his piece. Use that recirculating mode if you're in the car driving limit your time spent outdoors there are a lot of folks who do work outside wear the mask kn 95 or 95 will suffice and just be safe out there use those uh, proper air filters too taking a look at the satellite and radar picture we have that air quality issue eventually moving on out uh, area of low pressure will be moving in or moving out and then showers and storms throughout the day expected between 12 and 8. That's the best time. A look at your seven day forecast warming up over the weekend. More showers ahead early next week. Alex. All right, Stacey and a lot going on over there. Thank you so much. Crash, we just told you about a farmer's Green is what we want to see. Normally it means rain. In this case, it means good air quality across of much of the Bronx, Staten Island, parts of Manhattan, even parts of... We got some showers and storms in the forecast for today. Well, I'll talk about it after the break. If you can see Craig right now, I'm telling you, he's dancing. <laughs> Cutting up a ride. <laughs> Cutting up a ride. <laughs> the weekend yeah and it depends on where you have to be that's the key because if you're headed to the jersey shore today ah uh, you may want to maybe not and if you do go just stay inside i'm excited much of the tri-state uh sullivan it's in place but ulster duchess county it's been lifted uh much of the tri-state uh sullivan it's in place but ulster duchess county it's been lifted uh north and west it's 
better. And then further south you go, it's worse, put it pretty much. Satellite and radar dry conditions. High pressure is expected to be in control. We're still tracking that area of low pressure. It's swirling. It's going to meander. Eventually, we see some showers and storms that will fire up later on today in the afternoon. Could produce some heavy downpours and even small hail in some locations. 50s right now. It's nice. It's comfortable temperature-wise. Visibility still limited area. Sussex, nine-mile visibility. Trenton, eight. So much better this time versus yesterday. Yesterday was really tough. Here's look at your day plan we're in the upper 60s to start 9 a.m. as well as 1 p.m. we'll climb into the low 70s so we've bumped those temperatures up a bit because conditions are steadily improving wait till you hit a load of the weekend because it's really going to start to warm up and we have more showers and storms next week which we'll talk about Kala over to you Stacey and thanks as we approach the weekend we are turning a Stacey Ann, thanks. As we approach the weekend, we are turning a corner amid concerns of hazardous air quality. We've been hearing from meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden. Conditions are improving. PIX 11's Rebecca Solomon joining us live from Long Island City with more on what you can expect today heading into the weekend. Rebecca, how is it smelling out there now? Further south, so it's going to take some time for that air to filter out from north to south so some clearing ahead we'll have plenty of sunshine eventually that low will continue to shift eventually it'll break up those clouds and lead to some warming this during the weekend hours or over the next couple of days 59 degrees humidity at 64 percent wind still out of the northwest but the way it's shifting it's allowing for much cleaner air to move in as that low meanders it will eventually move out 72 p.m storms we're tracking that some of those storms could be severe strong winds downpours could lead to flash flooding in some cases we're going to time it out for you overnight temperatures are in the 50s right now and take a look at the next few days so shower storms later today just get a jump start on that evening commute or if you're heading out for lunch, just to play it safe because it looks like it'll start to kick in sometime at around noon. It'll be scattered. Not everybody's going to get it, and not everybody's going to get it at the same time. We do warm up. Saturday looks great. North and west, some showers. And then Sunday, optimal for that parade. We'll send it over to you, Alex. All right. Good looking for Sunday. Very important. Stacey and thank you. Uh, uh, starting off into Paramus and Essex County, Hudson County may notice those showers there too at around that time. We do clear out. The threat, the window will be anywhere from noon to about 8 p.m. We clear out and then it'll be plenty of sunshine to come for tomorrow. Although it'll be a washout, far from it. Sunday looks great for the Pride Parade. It's going to be an optimal day. So scattered shower storms today, small hail storms. And as we've been talking about conditions improving, we want to see those blues. Those blues indicate that there is some relief that's on the way, starting in the Hudson Valley and working its way south. It'll take some time for folks out in New Jersey and the south shore of Long Island. But again, throughout the course of the day, you'll notice the start, sun start to come out. You'll notice those breaks in the clouds. you notice you're breathing in much cleaner air and you'll feel better too. I'd still take the precaution though. That area of low pressure we are tracking right now, temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Eventually, that area of low pressure will be working its way points east and that is there earlier on. Uh, we anticipate highs in the low 70s. Looking ahead, there's that low. We need it. That's going to help to shift this pattern, move it out of here. And then as we head into next week, you'll need the umbrella and there could be some severe weather along with that. But looking forward to the weekend looks great, Alex. Good news there about the weekend, Stacey Ann. Thank you so much. Rockway, or Belt Parkway, rather. An update here between Rockway Boulevard and Farmers Boulevard on the westbound side. It was a full. Thank you so much. Rockway or Belt Parkway, rather. An update here between Rockway Boulevard and Farmers Boulevard on the westbound side. It was a full. Okay. So they're asking adults to be adults and do something about yeah. it. Yeah, well, parents need the guidance too. Dr. Vossen, thank you so much for coming yeah, in yeah, this thanks morning. Thanks for having me. I appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Always good to see you. 743, everybody. We'll be right back.
from Pix Plaza. This is New York Living. You are listening to Bomba, straight from these fantastic musicians, Dr. Drum y Bomba. Yo, they're going to be with us all morning in homage of Puerto Rico because we are getting ready for the National Puerto Rican Day Parade. The best part of New York City happening Sunday. Thanks for watching New York Living. I'm Marisol Castro. She's been dancing all morning. <laughs> I'm Alex Lee. Happy Friday, everybody. It's yeah. going to be one of those days yeah. in the best possible yeah. way. We had a full house. Woo! Do we have a full house in the studio today? Mm -hmm. Whippa! Whippa! Yes, perspective. You did it confidently. I almost believed it, and I have the answer in front of me. <laughs> Chris Lamb is dying. Chris Lamb right is going to quit on I'm the spot after that. <laughs> okay, second one. This is this should be easier. Stupid is as stupid. I've does. heard it. I don't know it. Oh, that's that's. Who is it? Forrest Gump. Yes, Forrest Gump. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. thank you. La yeah. Bruja. Yes. La Bruja and her daughter. Okay, this yeah. one might be a little bit more of a challenge, honey. Where's my super suit? The Incredible. Yes. yes. Come on, Alex. All right. This one. This is my favorite one on the list. I'm oh. Gonna, I'm gonna make him an offer. Oh. He can't refuse. The Godfather. Yeah. I had to. I had to practice the voice. Let's I'm hear it again. Make, How do you I'm do it? I'm gonna make him an offer. I'm gonna I make him refuse. an offer. He can't refuse. Yeah, I like that. I'm I gonna like make that. him an offer. He can't refuse. <laughs> Help. But you have Connor. Your mouth. It's, it's all about the demeanor. Yes. yes. Like if I yeah. had a chair, I would be sitting back. Oh, and, yeah. I see it. I'm gonna make him an offer. He can't refuse. You know. Okay. Last one. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Jaws. Yeah. Yes. Da -na. Yes. Da -na. Yeah. Da -na, da -na, and again, da -na. all of these things I could apply to life right now. Like the bigger boat with all the yeah. stuff that we're tugging in our lives, we're gonna need a bigger boat. You were gonna need a bigger boat because we need to celebrate. What? It's Mercedes' birthday. <laughs> it's Mercedes' birthday. So you thought we forgot. <laughs> we know you're not from these mean streets. Right. Come on in, Chris Lamb. Come on, Chrissy Lamb. But what? I know one day you would like to make it to this big what? apple. So we got you a little something. Dig in there. Oh.